Hello. Welcome to Card Minds. Thank you for stopping by. This is going to be a Sagittarius money and career reading for January 2024. Sagittarius, Happy New Year. Happy New Year to all wherever you situate yourself in the world. Abundance, happiness, stability, success your way sending positive energies to everyone out there however difficult it is push forward push forward in 2024 in positive energies all right sagittarius january 2024 money and career i decided to do monthlies to bridge the gap but i will be resuming weeklies by Thursday as usual Sagittarius so until then a few monthlies just to see what energies we're cooking with here we go the moon January 2024 money and career Sagittarius there is a magic word um, there is one reading up for grabs in this month of January, and yes, I will give the results of uh, December. It's just that I was traveling with a lot of delays and lost luggage and all that good stuff, so um, I'm in a bit delayed, but here I am. The moon, nine of cups, and the magic word is going to be the same for all signs for these monthlies and that is happy new year so put happy new year down below in the comment section and most of all be subscribed if you're interested in putting your name in the hat for a free reading all right the moon nine of cups page of cups there's an offer there an offer of something you really wanted your wish your thing that thing you really wanted there you go sagittarius nine of cups wish coming true that idea coming true that job that business that project you're getting your answer with the moon waiting confusion waiting for information wording waiting for that phone call or that answer here you have it here's that offer it feels like a creative offer it doesn't have to be with this page of cups can be something artistic if that is what you are waiting for it's a new emotion right messages coming in with this uh, page of cups it's something new something fresh all pages are new very sensitive a bit of innocence there a little bit head, head in the cloud type situation. So maybe this is um, a decision or an offer of something um, with a certain idealism, right? Something, a fantasy or something you've been wanting to do your whole life or you've been really wanting to participate in, right? And it's sort of this unexpected inspiration here that's opening up opening you up or opening up doors for you for a new idea maybe something you're embracing finally a project you're finally doing that job or that team you're proud you're you're proudly joining right you're embracing your inspiration this is really opening up new doors. It's leading to a new adventure. It's really a push, a push to create art, music, um, anything creative. You're pushing through. It's sort of time to reveal um, your talent or reveal your idea, your emotions, or express yourself, right? Um, without worrying about ego, without worrying about who thinks what or who is going to judge you this is okay for a new beginning and the real you this time 
this is going to reveal the real you. So whether you have a talent or an idea or something that people are looking for, uh, the door is opening to express yourself, to build, to grow, to participate, whatever it, is, whatever it means for you. It will be different for each and every one. All right, let's see where this is going. Queen of Wands, assertive, creative. So this can be something, someone you are working with or a boss, a manager, even a family member or friend, someone very, or it can be you asserting yourself in this new role. Queen of Wands and King of Wands, beautiful. You're building something or you're participating in building something with this King and Queen of Wands. Impressive, very impressive. Because having both is really about um, not only being motivated, but having complete control of the situation. Both the king and the queen are there to build, to build, to manage. They have a vision. They have control over the situation. They're self-assured and confident, but yet so determined and so passionate in this new idea. So a very focused and very courageous in pushing forward. Wow, and the King of Cups. Lots of people involved here. Water sign, fire sign. You're finding your balance on the, in this job project dream of yours. It really feels like something passionate. So it can be a project you already all, always wanted to work on or uh, a community you want to join. You're, you might be traveling. You're waiting for answers. You're waiting to plan your move, to plan this with the Two of Wands. You're planning your future here. And you're getting out of a situation. Or maybe you have to wait a bit. Let's see. Let's pull a few more cards. Ooh. Okay. Yes, this is something you've worked on that you have spent a lot of time on, waiting and waiting. You are now reaping the fruits of your labor. This is something that might have been stuck, waiting for answers, waiting for information. Patience, patience, this is all coming to fruition and you have the Empress, beautiful. So it might be, I'm gonna put the Empress on top, it might be a little confusing because you have, you, there are choices to be made here with the Seven of Cups. A lot of people involved, a lot of responsibilities. This is a moment where you have to um, figure things out, but it's really, coming together here so whatever this is that you wanted to accomplish this is your goal coming together with the seven of pentacles i love this um with patience and dedication because you might have even invested money invested time in this a lot of decisions or a lot of options and you have to choose options which who are you going to work with or what project is it going to be or how are you going to develop with the money you made or what is it what country or what city are you going to choose something like that there are choices to be made but you have the empress empowering yourself to create, to push forward. 
good for you good for you the empress is all about moving in to the creative mode or a creative mode it's a strong strong connection to your creativity and also understanding understanding the circumstances the energies how to create with whom um a lot of emotions a lot of emotions um going on here but you're there to help to create to guide to share to care you're discovering new ways of expressing yourself expressing your talent creatively and you're surrounded by the beauty of the world and the gratitude for all this abundance the empress is all about the sensitivity and the beauty of the world she feels she understands she likes to be there for others whatever you're creating is something that is very fulfilling very important for you it's an emotional expansion it's it's something that you were waiting for. I don't know why I'm saying that. It's really a period of growth, which all you have planted, all you have waited for is coming together. So take a moment to reflect on everything that surrounds you and offer gratitude for everything that you have created so far. So you can continue to build upon that energy and create even more in your life. So allow yourself the time and the space to enter that different frame of mind. All right, let's see if there's um, another energy or a few more messages in the second deck. Gemini, January 2024. Money and career. Yes, this is moving forward. Project moving forward. Emotions moving forward. Fulfillment moving forward. Feels very creative. That's something you have been disappointed in. Okay, but you do have the Eight of Swords. So the Five of Five of Cups is that disappointment of maybe not going fast enough or maybe not getting the answers in time you wanted or maybe a sort of disconnect because people are not listening to you or not giving you the information you wanted. King of Pentacles, Taurus Virgo Capricorn. A lot of people involved here, a lot of kings and queens, a lot of important people, responsibilities managers business people responsible for choices decisions decision makers people with money are investing time as well in this situation yes wow this is something completely new completely new sagittarius you have the death card in the world so Whatever you're moving into, whatever you're preparing here, planning, this is something completely new. It can be a new career, a complete newfound vocation, something maybe you're traveling for or something you have been waiting for for a long time, participating in something important, important to you, fulfillment for you, right? And that is really permitting you or helping you leave a lot of triggers behind or a situation behind that no longer served you with the, uh, with the death card, right? It's finally letting go, finally 
understanding what is not working for you, what is not for you, and what is not helping you push forward, right? It's a big change. It's a big transition, but it's also liberating. A lot of freedom here to now be part of this new job, project, idea, whatever it is, can be creative. It feels like now you're part of the group. Now you're part of the team. This is something you waited for. This is something you really wanted to do. It's a new chapter in your life. More important, more beneficial, more fulfilling. And it's really the capacity, giving you the capacity, the strength to put the past behind and accept this beautiful new opportunity transformation a huge huge transformation a rebirth really right now to you know detach yourself this is allowing you to detach yourself from maybe old habits old resentments old emotions right situations and energies that really were um keeping you stuck not able to even understand how to push forward now that was blocking you now it, there's no looking back this is like a beautiful creative energy pushing forward where you can grow and blossom in this new chapter beautiful beautiful you are really um moving forward into that new goal accomplishing and blossoming in a new life love it and then you have the the world which is really bringing it all together accomplishing this new chapter closing one opening up the next one and allowing yourself to breathe and um really um, be rewarded the world is opening its arms for you and rewarding you for your hard work for all your efforts and that project that you want so much um, that time you spent that money maybe you've invested really is finally happening this project is finally here or job or business, whatever it is, it's really a victory, it's success. Maybe you're traveling, maybe you're getting that job overseas, maybe you're finally opening up your business, but this is really something, this death card is really closing that door and empowering you now to be in the right energy. And, and therefore, we don't have the Wheel of Fortune, but it's really, it feels like that, where all of a sudden, the energies are shifting and everything is becoming much more fluid where the doors are sort of opening and the resentments and the frustrations are sort of left behind. It doesn't mean it's perfect. It doesn't mean there are no obstacles, but you're able to see clear and understand how this is going to grow and move forward and how you are in the right place and you're finally in that spot where you want it to be. Wow, this is very, very exciting, uh, Sagittarius. All right, let's see if there's one last message for the road, Sagittarius. Money and career, January 2024. Let's see if there's one last message for the road, Sagittarius. In this beautiful new reading, Ten of Wands, yep, it's confirming the end of that chapter. Justice, big decision, big shift. No matter what, uh, this has to happen, no matter what. There's a decision that's made that is pushing this forward to unblock the situation. And the Ace of Cups, there you go. There's your beautiful new project with the right people, the flow of emotions, the connections, 
this is where you belong. It's the utter joy of being with the right people, the utter joy of being able to exchange ideas. Uh, people listen to you. People are interested in what you have to say and your ideas. Uh, Like-minded people, um, inspiration, creativity. You're in the right spot. You're in the right spot, Sagittarius. Beautiful, beautiful reading, Sagittarius. I hope you enjoyed this reading as much as I did. Again, Happy New Year to all to everyone around the world, sending love and abundance to everyone. Um, I will be resuming all weeklies this week, uh, starting Thursday. And uh, until then, uh, if you wanna put uh, Happy New Year down below and participate and maybe get a free reading, all you have to do is be subscribed and put Happy New Year down below. Thank you so much for watching, Sagittarius. Take care. Bye-bye.